Good afternoon or evening or morning, whatever you're listening to this, it's afternoon for me. Um, so this is Leo with OFL. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to set a specific volume profile for the draw volume profile tool and how to make that a custom button on your control bar that you can use at any time. So we are going to use a step-by-step -step process and step one is going to be, um, you need a volume profile that you want to draw. So I created one um, here just because, you know, I have many of these just available to me. <clears throat> um, so anyways, what you want to do is just create a volume profile, how you want it to look when you want to use the draw volume profile button for that type of profile. Uh, for this example, we're going to do a Delta profile. And so that's what I have here. One thing that I do want to call out is that when you go to studies and you're working on that, you want to use a from start date time to end date time for the input. I'm not 100% convinced that this is totally necessary, but I was having an issue with mine working properly and this is what fixed it. So I'm just going to insist that that's what you do because it works fine. Um, but maybe somebody can tell me I'm wrong. That's fine. So you're just going to, you know, make all the settings how you want them, how you would want the volume profile to draw when you draw it. The next step is you're going to go down here to study collection and you're going to name it. And so I've just named this Delta by price demo and selected the prompt remove to remove existing studies. That's just the best practice for any time you use study collection. Um, and then we're going to select save single, and then it's going to say, yes, do you want to confirm? I'm going to select yes. And we're going to hit okay. And then I'm going to make this disappear by removing the study. So now we have a chart with no volume profile. We need to make one. So the next step is we're going to go to tools, uh, current, uh, tool configs, and then find the draw volume profile config. And you're going to notice that the name you just gave to that volume profile study collection is going to show up in this drop down list. And that's a great sign. So you're going to select that and that's not it. We're not done yet here. We need to give it a configuration name. So here I've selected TC four, um, but just a tool configuration number is what you're going to assign it. So I just have this one TC four and I'm just naming it Delta by price demo. Okay. Um, and then you're going to hit apply. So basically, now, um, the draw volume profile tool is not going to use the default, the default settings already there. Um, this is a tool configuration for a specific, um, you know, sequence. So it's tool configuration four. um, so I'm going to go to customize control bar and pretend that I just didn't re re uh, record this video and I'm going to remove the example that I just created because I had the, this is recording number two for those that care. Um, anyways, we're going to go to tools, custom drawing tool, and we are going to select custom drawing tool two or just whatever the first available option is for you. You might have one available. You might have seven. I don't know. Um, so you click your custom can, uh, custom drawing tool two, and then select add. And it's going to show up down at the bottom of your, uh, list here of available buttons on your control bar. The next step is we're going to set custom tool right here in the middle. And, um, this is already going to be named custom tool two. We're going, you're going to have to click the drop down find volume profile. Oddly enough, they didn't name it draw volume profile in this one. They named it volume profile. Don't worry. 
just select volume profile and we'll move on with our life. And then you have to remember the tool configuration because for whatever reason, the application doesn't remember the naming that you gave it because we gave it a name earlier. So you just have to remember when you create a tool configuration for the volume profile that you know what that tool configuration number is. So because I set it to four, I'm going to select four and then I'm going to give it a name in the caption. So boom, by the magic of I've already done this before. It's already got the caption there of draw Delta by price. And then that's it. Click OK. It should show up as a button up here. OK, so we're on a chart. We've got everything squared away. Select this and then, then so you select it. Draw your profile wherever you want. And it's going to show up nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. And we can move that sucker uh, if you grab it in the right spot. It's got the little, you know, nuances of, of, um, you know, the, the current volume profile tool. So you can have, you know, go to the ends of the earth with that. You can delete it by selecting it and deleting it, or you can go, it's going to show up at the bottom of your studies. So you could also go to your studies and select remove and remove the study. And then somebody else said there's a button that you can create for remove um, profiles, which I don't use. I just remove the study because really I use leg to leg. That's my default, right? So this is all automated. But if there was a specific spot you wanted to, you know, look at like this, you know, you want to isolate that and you want to be able to see it, um, then you know, you can use the volume pro the draw volume profile tool. Uh, you could do the same thing for a standard volume profile. You would just save it with a different name, give it a tool configuration, and then make a button for that uh, volume profile. And then you would have the ability to draw a volume profile and a Delta profile and all kinds of other, you know, profiles you want. Um, that's it. It's super, it is kind of a pain to set it up, but if you follow the steps properly, you should be able to do this very easily. Um, if you missed a step, um, just watch the video again. It's, it's okay. We're in this together and this one's kind of a pain in the neck, but, um, yeah, hopefully this helps. And that's it for the draw volume profile customization. Excellent demo from Leo the Tiger. Um, that's it. If you're still listening, I guess bye. We'll do it. I'll do an outro. Okay. Bye. See ya.